سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك وتبارك اسمك وتعالى جدو ولا اله الا الله بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم All praises due to Allah. We praise Him and seek His forgiveness and His help. We seek refuge in Allah from the evils of our souls and the evils of our deeds. Whomsoever Allah guides, none can misguide. And whomsoever Allah misguides, none can guide. I bear witness and testify that none has the right to be worshipped except Allah alone with our partners or associates. And I bear witness and testify that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the servant and messenger of Allah. Today, I'd like to discuss marriage, the responsibilities we as husbands owe to that special lady in our life, our wives. Our wives are affectionate and emotional creatures. They are not equipped to deal with the raising of the voices, and the hand swinging of the fists. Sooner or later, she's going to either break down, and by breaking down means divorce, or she's going to rebel. She needs and is entitled to be cared for at all times. She needs love and care with a smile, not love and care. Rasulullah not by the husband's might and authority. She must be approached with tender love and care and wisdom. We must, brothers, improve our character and our behaviors towards our wives. They are our tilth, our comfort, not in no shape, form, or fashion, our punching bag. Many times, husbands treat their wives like slaves, beating them, saying harsh words to them, using them spiritually and emotionally, and worst of all, abandoning them. SubhanAllah. May Allah forgive us for those of us who did it, and may Allah prevent us who has not yet done stuff like that. May he prevent us from doing such. Allah said, Surah 4, Ayah 19, and live with them honorably. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, act kindly towards women, for the woman has been created from a rib, and the most crooked part of the rib is his upper part. If you attempt to straighten it, you will break it. But if you leave it, the crookedness will remain. And this is Sayyid Bukhari Muslim. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also said, Beware, act kindly towards women, for men are married women with you. And that's the timidity. Brothers, let's not turn our homes into hell on earth for our wives. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was asked about the rights of the wife over the husband. In response, he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, said, it is that you feed her when you take food and provide for her clothing when you clothe yourself and that you do not beat her in the face nor revile her, but leave her alone except in the house. And that's by Ahmad, um, Abu Daoud, and others. We need to give her the utmost respect honor and gentleness of care and treatment, especially in front of the children. And I must pinpoint this fact, especially in front of the sons, because the children mimic what they see. And if they see abuse, they grow up abusive. If they see kind treatment, equality and respect, then that's what they'll follow as well. Never underestimate, she is a reflection of you, you are a reflection of her. We must therefore try our best to perfect our morals. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the most perfect of the believers in faith is he who is the most excellent of them in morals. And the best of you are they who are best for their wives. That is also a timidity.
All in a nutshell, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, and they, the women, have rights over their husbands similar to those of their husbands over their wives, to what is reasonable. But the men have a degree of responsibility above them. And that's in Surah 2, Ayah 228. At this time, <coughs> subhanAllah, excuse me. At this time, I like to take, be more specific and go a little bit more into detail about the wives' rights over the husbands. Outside of maintaining the house and raising the children, which brothers, we should participate in that activities with the wives so we can alleviate the burden of stress that falls upon them when they're doing their chores. I don't like to use the word duties because duties is like, I mean, it's a job, it's a responsibility for her, you know, but it's also responsibility of the husband as well. He should be in good company. You know, we should show them good company, you know, sit down, have nice, decent conversations with our wives, play with them, take walks to the park with them, you know, and to intermingle with them more so than just do this. I want you to do that. I want you to do this. I need you to do this. Being so demanding, you know, we need to be more humble with our wives, you know. Um, and like I said in show 4, Ayah 19, Allah says, and live with them honorably. Um, and we need to give the wives dawah, not just on her home and personal obligations with the children and the home and so forth and things of that nature. But in the deen itself, you know, give them dawah on Akida, Tawheed, Fiqh, Sharia, everything. Not just what we feel they should know, but what we know they should know. And that's everything about the deen. Everything. Offers a lot with our wives. For Allah says in the Quran, in Surah 20, Ayah 132, and enjoy prayer on your family and be patient in offering them, that is offering the prayer. We need to alleviate disrespect in our wives, give her the support she needs and deserves. And for those husbands who have more than one wife, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, if a man has two wives and does not deal with them equally, he will come on the day of judgment while his one side is hanging down. And that's in Ahmed and others. If we do not embarrass our wives, we are not to mention her downfalls to herself, like throw it up in her face, or other people. That's very grating to, towards the wife. And also, allow her to keep relations with her families. You know, she's not our prisoner. Um, stop leaving her home alone while we go out and mingle with the brothers. This is also a form of abandonment. And stop taking her wages if she's employed uh, for ourselves. We only have rights to that, which is willfully on her behalf offered to us. We need to overlook her mistakes and focus on all the good in her. Be more compassionate of her emotions. Call her by kind nicknames, not abusive and insulting ones. Sins and acts that are disrespectful, those are forbidden in Islam, brothers. That's forbidden. Ibn Qayyim, Rahimahullah, said, among the punishments originated from sins is that they revoke the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and causes curses. The servant of Allah loses Allah's blessings by that sin, by being that sin, and is afflicted, inflicted by the curse when he commits that sin. The one who commits the act of sin or acts of disrespect lowers his status and rank and dignity 
and loses rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the people in general. The reward from Allah is he won't receive the blessings of Allah for being a good husband. And the reward from the people, he loses the respect for him. Therefore, my brothers, in conclusion, it is our obligatory duty to, to evaluate and correct our characters and behaviors towards our wives. And by Allah's blessings, and may he bless us, the happiness will return to the home. Allah says, verily, Allah will not change the conditions of a people until they first change that which is in themselves. I remind the brothers before I leave. A happy wife is a happy life. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.